Ain't No Half Stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den, Legacy Internet Radio. Thanking everybody for rocking with us. Of course, y'all rocking with us. We are rolling with we y'all. Fun we, with that song. Yeah, man. You know, we, 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 we just have so much fun here. Especially when Marcus behaves. When Marcus behaves? Yep. You mean almost never? I don't. That's I, why it's great when you do behave. I don't like to behave though. Yeah, you always talk about me it. behaving. I don't. When you're not behaved, it is really not becoming of you. Yeah, but I ain't. I ain't for all that behaving stuff, man. You should be, because I mean, really, you're really about to go up underneath that table there for your time out. Ain't nobody thinking about you for your time out. I, I don't do no time out, and yo. I don't care like for real, what yo. Social services says you're going. Under I ain't going under no out. table, and I ain't going to no time out, mm-hmm. Tony. You gonna let her talk about your your brother like this? Yes. No. For for real? She no. said this goes. I'm gonna back put you to on the spot. You were a horrible yeah. worker. I was a horrible worker. Well, she did that's say not earlier. Exactly what I said. Well, I was just kind of adding a little bit, but it was it was the thing. It was the gist of it. But I you said, were a little funky attitude. She said. Can we all just be friends? No, nope. I don't want to be friends like with him. her. Let's talk to I our real to our real imaginary friend Jeff. Oh, <laughs> hey Jeff, what do you think we should do? <laughs> we don't know. A normal name. My my nephew had a, an imaginary friend. His name was Jobo, so we thought he was like a demon. <laughs> like, what kind of name is Jobo? See, we laugh at Jobo. We didn't know somebody was going to pick it up some couple of years later and have Bogo buy one get one. <laughs> See? You know what? Yep. Mm-hmm. Logo. 804-402-2893 is the number to dial to be a part of tonight's discussion. Uh, we are talking uh, here on Ain't No Half Step on Marcus J, the flagship show, Legacy in that Radio. We're thanking those folks that are rocking with us. Shout out to y'all folks that are checking in with us right now on Facebook Live. We're thanking those folks that are listening to us on TuneIn, to those folks that are listening to us directly live on the Website of LegacyInternetRadio.com. Thanking those folks on Streamer, iTunes, and YouTube. Y'all rock with us. We are rolling with y'all. PB jumped right back in on the live stream. We appreciate him. And, of course, the co-host of the show, our big sis, S.Y. Butler, who I love to tease but I love to death. She's going to take us into the next segment. We got a healthy segment. I have no idea what the hell she's going to talk about, but she's going to make us all feel better about the shit we're going through. Big so, sis. you know what? I did something on purpose today, and I irritated my little brother, y'all. He she always irritates me. He was asking me today about my segment. He was like, oh, you got your piece ready? And I was like, yeah. And then before I finished saying yeah, he was like, what is it about? I was like, I answered one question. You don't get another answer. So I didn't answer him. So when I got in here today... He had a little toot, and he didn't want to be my friend. He didn't want to talk to me, but, you know, he'll get over it. He, he got over it. Mm-hmm. He got over it. So I found out something today that I'm going to share with the men. I just want y'all to know I love y'all so much, especially, especially my black brothers. I love y'all so much. So this is for y'all. Guess what this week is? Anybody? Anybody? No? Okay. It's National Men's Health Week. I found that out today. Didn't even know y'all had a week. But it's National Health Men's Week. Leads right up and ending on Father's Day. So I'm going to remind you of some things that I pulled off this flyer. Um, I want you all to take steps to be healthier. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to eat better. That's number one. Why are you cutting your eyes at me, Jeff? Huh? Imaginary Jeff. <laughs> Don't forget to have your fruits and your vegetables. You want to say something, Miss Tony? Fruits and vegetables. Oh. Don't forget to have your fruits and vegetables, y'all. She wants y'all to be fruity. Huh? Well, now, I was going to say something, but it would have been in poor taste, so I'm going to leave that alone. No, I don't want y'all to be fruity. I want y'all to be healthy. Some of you are probably like, oh, man, I got this pimple right here. <gasps> oh, I shouldn't have said pimple. Mm. I got this pimple over here. You know, Shane, y'all, I always say we got if, ghosts. If, if you took three days 
just three days, and, and this goes for anyone, but if y'all would take three days and make sure you drink enough water and had fruits and vegetables. I'm not saying don't eat your god-awful nasty pork barbecue sandwich, God forbid. But Watch if you it. did that, you will see the big change in your skin like almost instantly. Let me get a couple of shouts out. Those folks that are checking us out in Facebook Live. Mi hermana, what's going on, my sister? Going on, what's my going sister, on? My sister Maida is checking us out. What's up, Mi hermana? And then, of course, we got our sister Kaz. Is checking up, us out. Uh, she says, what's up to the crew? What's up, my boogie, so boogie, give, boogie, uh, boogie, give, boogie, Give the love to the Facebook Live. Okay, so don't forget your fruits and vegetables. You're missing out on lots of vitamins and lots of minerals. And if y'all want to make me, have me make you some kale chips or a nice smoothie, I will do that for you. I will help you out and give you a drink. Now, I'm probably going to put something spicy in it like ginger, but it's really good for you. So that's the first thing I'm going to tell you to do. I want you to limit... Next, your salt and your sugar, your fat, cut it off your steak. Don't chew it, it's not good. Don't swallow it, it's not good. And your alcohol. Now, your sugar and your alcohol, if you just look down just slightly and you see that gut that you have, that's where the sugar and the alcohol is hiding out. So if you get rid of it, so will you get rid of that other person sitting on your lap. So I want you to limit that. Just a little exercise, 30 minutes a day. 30 minutes a day is enough to get you rolling. If you just walk around your neighborhood, take a walk to the store, minus the beer that you're not going to buy. Take a walk to the store, you know, just go do something. Get up in the morning, smell some fresh air before you get in your car and go to work or before you go in the house, you want to come down from the day, take a walk. You'll be so amazed at how fast 30 minutes really really ends so take a little walk do some exercise help reduce your um your weight reduce your risk of heart disease and certain cancers you got a question book Maida says my me or Mana, she says that grilled veggies are the best yes they are let me tell you if y'all put some school oh let me tell you squash on the grill mm-hmm. oh it's mm-hmm. like I love heaven. Squash. it mm-hmm. is like heaven and if you must eat corn, when we know it does not digest and it comes out whole, if you must, if you put it on the grill, use a little bit of coconut oil, wrap it in some foil, put your peppers and your onions, whatever you want on it, sprinkle just a teeny, teeny, teeny little bit of salt. Yo, it tastes good. Kaz is saying, what's up, mommy? Hey, what's mommy, up, baby, what's boo? What's up to the fam? And our sister Melanie in the shot. Melanie says that... Add ancient grains to the list. Yes, Lord. Put some grains in your belly. You can go and get some nice bread that's all whole grain. You can have granola. Put some granola on your yogurts or your cereal. I know some of y'all dudes eat cereal. Y'all act like y'all don't have a favorite, but I know somebody's out there eating cookie crisp, tricks, or whatever it is. I know y'all eating it. Throw a little bit of some on your ice cream, whatever. Add it, because I know you're eating that. But we did mention cutting down sugar, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I know that y'all do it. Yes, greens are definitely on the list. Now, it does tell me that adults need two and a half hours of physical activity a week. So if you did a half an hour a day, darn, bingo. You're getting a lot of love in this segment. Bingo, bingo, baby. Who say something? Cass says walk around for two minutes for every 10 minutes you sit. Yep. She Mm. says, remember, she told you that. Mm -hmm. And then Melanie uh, says that take out the oils like vegetable oil, cornstarch oil, and replace it with grapeseed oil. Yes. Grapeseed oil is great on your fish. Oh, my God. Your fish, your salad. If you like things like fried chicken, if you crush up some... some, um, which, what's Cornelius? Uh, what's the cereal with Cornelius on it? Corn, corn flakes. Crush up some corn flakes and <laughs> roll it. On. Y'all know Cornelius the rooster is on the corn flake box. Everybody in the room looking at her so, like, who is Cornelius? And you put, you line your sheet with grapeseed oil. Roll, you know, roll your chicken in it. Fry your chicken in the oven if you must. Y'all have no idea. It tastes so much better than dipping it in that nasty fat oil that y'all eat. I'm telling you, I could help you out. 
a couple of um, a couple of more shout outs. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I got these in. Uh, mm-hmm. Forgive me if I didn't get them in. Uh, but a couple of my my fam, Virginia Union sh- uh, family, my brother Shaq. Uh, my brother Shaq is listening. Shaq What's says, Shaq? Uh, I don't think that we can. Well, he's going backwards a little bit. I don't think that we can attach Islam in the true sense to this dude. One thing that is true, Islam teaches love. Uh, this act definitely wasn't that. I think we need to be conscious of saying Islam when speaking about evil people. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. 100, mm-hmm. 1,000 uh, percent agree with you on that one, brother. Absolutely glad you made that point. Our sister Madrika is checking us out. Uh, Madrika is listening to us. And then uh, our brother Hakeem. Hey, baby. Hakeem says 502, baby. Shout us out, the whole crew. He's working tonight, so, so he's not uh, actually able to complete listen. Okay. But because he's a long-time listener and he loves... Shout me out as the co-host Hakeem. and sort of you. No, he loves <laughs> me as the co-host. You know what I mean? He wants to make We're sure. We're going to boot you out there, Z, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then last thing Shaq says, uh, as a Christian, we need to call evil what it is. So just want to make sure we got all the comments. Yep. In. All right, Big Sis, keep going. All right. So here goes a really big thing. And Big Bro Joe, if you listening, this for you. Smoking. What's wrong with y'all? Please quit smoking. Say please. It again. Say like, it again. handsome, please. No, no, it's not good for y'all. Handsome, you say handsome, please? Say like, handsome, I mean, this please. This is dedicated to the men. <laughs> handsome, please. Because if you pretty, and the only pretty handsome was Prince, he gone. I ain't talking to him. Oh. So, <laughs> come on, y'all. It's bad enough if you drink alcohol, you're really doing a little something to your body. Your organs are not your friend right now. So you go ahead and smoke on top of that and crisp up your lung a little bit more. It's not good. It's not a pretty looking thing. If you look it up, what a healthy lung looks like versus a dirty, tarred up lung, you wouldn't want that in your body. Our sister Midas got a few things for you. Yes, ma'am. You're getting a lot of response here. Midas said, spell teff, rye are some of the better digestible grains. Mm-hmm. She said, add flax seeds to salads, too, for a nice added crunch. Almond milk is, <laughs> is delicious well. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's the my only shot milk right I there. drink. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Drink too. yeah she, that's my shot right there. Yeah, yeah, she that's she that's wanted to place. make sure that she yeah. got that in. Uh, Thank Shaq, you. Shaq is still listening. He says, let me see, uh, bear with me, because um, there's a lot here going on here. Yeah. Shaq says that uh, da, 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 da. he says that he says that the brother who did the killings acted on his own. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was about to say the same thing. The cop shot some of those folks that were getting to him. So he he actually is watching the video that we did in the previous segment. Oh, okay. So you can tell by his comments yeah. that he's with us. He's just a he's just a step he's a step right behind, behind us. us. Mm-hmm. He's a step behind us. But we appreciate right. yeah, that, yeah. Um, we appreciate right. our brothers. Appreciate Keep on listening, mm-hmm. brother. Yeah, that Keep almond on. milk that almond mm-hmm. milk tastes like you know, you know how you eat Wonderful. cereal and drink the milk off the cereal. Yes. That's exactly what the almond <laughs> milk tastes like. <laughs> you know what's yes. funny? You know it's funny that you bring that up. I had my baby sis, my sister Ned, love you was in town recently and she asked if we had any milk in the crib and, and you know none of us drink milk in the house like milk to me is probably one of the most disgusting things mm-hmm. that you can drink like Correct. milk is just gross as hell to me but we keep almond milk in the house mm-hmm. you know what i mean and so for you to say that it's like word because <laughs> i don't eat cereal right. but when i did it's like the taste of the cereal yes <laughs> it was the taste of milk after the cereal yeah. is all it's gone the bomb. Oh, that joint is dope. That joint is dope. Yeah, man. It's so good. My blue diamond almond milk, man. I can't go without it. And y'all need to go get some. Two dollars ninety seven cent at Walmart. Okay. For real? You gonna just shout that out like that? (laughs) Come see me. You gonna you gonna you gonna just yeah, you gonna just shout them you gonna just shout them out? No, they, just the gallon. Gallon. they don't have it. The big one. Oh no, they don't have the real giant ones. Yeah, come on. We got yeah, another person this. jumping in. Our sister Tiffany is checking us hey, out. Hey, Tiffany. Tiffany is checking us out. What's up, Tiffany? <laughs> what up, big sis? Keep going. So you know, another reason why I want y'all to stop smoking is because it has immediate effects on your lungs. It has immediate effects on the way your breath smells, and I don't like it. I so if you don't, don't want like your it. breath to smell like Ling Long, then you probably shouldn't smoke? <laughs> no, you shouldn't. I went to school with her. 
She Funky stink. breath. She stink. <laughs> Still remember Lean the way she yeah, It's not good, y'all. It, immediately, it has a poor effect on mm-hmm. your health, and it has a lasting, lasting effect. So as soon as you take a puff, it starts to hurt you. And by the time you're done with your life, it's wreaked havoc on you. And half of you are already coughing like you've got some problem. And I damn sure don't want to see nobody I know or somebody that I know that calls up in here on a commercial talking about, okay, blah, 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 and watch out for the spray paint. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, Marvin. Hey, Look at hey, the other side. See, I do not want to see that. This is Marvin. Okay. Marcus, don't do that no more. Don't say your name in market. Don't do that. I'm just saying, no, like, no. it's some real stuff. I'm like it clowning, is real. but I don't. I mean, I laugh at that this was commercial. specifically for those folks on Facebook Live for the folks who I don't like those commercials. I, I no, because they gross that. you out. Yeah, they are. It, yes, and I get so irritated. I laugh. I've like every each person that comes, I'm like, you're stupid, and you're stupid, and you're stupid, and you're stupid, because it is on the carton that it's no good for you. You smoke it anyway. You, don't act like you don't drink. You choking up. Don't act like How you don't drink. How often do I drink? Let's be serious. How often do I drink? Really? Let yes, see. really. I ain't trying to call you out in front of these people. Call me out. But Listen, I, put me in. Hey, if I'm wrong, I'll tell you I'm wrong. Your ass drink every day. Every day. No, I don't drink every day. Well, I do. I, <laughs> we ain't talking about you. This about her. I know that she drinks more than she's willing to say right no, now in this I show. I can tell you, it depends on my week, y'all. If I'm having a rough Monday, like today, I didn't have a beer. And she's a girl that drinks beer. Yo, today, I did not have a beer. We ought to be I'll nice to She's a girl beer. that drinks beer. Mm-hmm. But um, amaretto and milk. No, and last week, let me she's see still what I have. Oh, last week I had an amaretto and milk. Yes, I got I the did. picture of that Ooh. one. She's still whacked up. I got a picture of a couple of amaretto and milk. She Whatever. She's still, she's still <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about men. She's still, okay. She's still whacked up. So whatever. <laughs> whatever, Mark. I don't even like So her. so please, y'all, get a little exercise. Eat a little healthier. It's National Men's Week. I'm calling y'all out. Please take care of yourselves. I love y'all. I want y'all to live a very long time. Somebody's gonna have to freaking take care of me. So Ooh. please we, get your act together. Yeah. All right, cool good lady. I can. <laughs> <laughs> you leave him alone, he working. All right, cool good lady. So, that's what I want y'all to do. And <laughs> if you want to quit smoking, you can call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. And please, don't BS me and go to the little electronic cigarettes. That's another segment. Yeah, that's whack. Though. Yeah, that's, the, that's, that's terrible. Segment. Yeah, because that's yeah. like puffing on battery acid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's that's, that's not healthy. We don't want to go there. That's, that's not like you, you can go from tar and tobacco to battery yeah. acid. You know, I, I was going to do something today it's called... Oh, darn it. I forget it. It's some, that little Mountain Dew mixture the kids are making and killing themselves. I Man, kids when doing everything, drinking the gasoline. Oil, the gasoline yeah. and yeah, Mountain crazy. Dew together and yeah. drink it. Yeah, they terrible. And kill yourself. I think two kids in Tennessee died from it. Yeah, I've seen it. I ain't never killed myself. I'm like, though. come on. Really? We can tell. Kids crazy, man. Like, we, we, can, we can see that. I ain't never done How it. How high do you need to be? I mean, you know, they they not making hey, weed strong hey, enough. Hey, look, I saw, I saw, I saw. You know how sometimes you're scrolling through your Facebook wall, and you see stuff that you really didn't need to see. Yeah, but it happens to be on your Facebook wall. Yeah. I seen a girl pour gasoline on her crotch, light it because she was trying to twerk. Yeah, I seen the <laughs> black girl. Yeah, yeah, you saw that joint. What? Yeah. She was trying to. She was trying. Oh, trying she to, twerked all right. Yeah, she tried to twerk and got caught on fire. And she got caught on, on fire. fire. Yeah, just idiotic so, okay. stuff, man. Which one's worse? Pouring gasoline so you can twerk or taking a selfie with your weapon in your hand. Yeah, I'd rather pour gasoline because <laughs> at least you know that you might not yeah, die. Yeah. You might not die. You hear about the kid who took a selfie? It's a couple of them. Yes. Four, 14. It's yes. a couple of them. There's more than one. Yes. They freaking There's shoot themselves in the head and die, man. They take a selfie and, of course, the dominant hand, the freaking gun is in. <laughs> so instead of clicking... Yeah, the picture. <laughs> click, click. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you ain't seen it, Tony. Yeah, no, it's like, it's like, I don't want to see that. It's, no, but I haven't seen the video. I've heard the stories. Yeah. It's a couple of stories of dudes trying to take or well, people. Yeah. I don't know if it's all dudes trying to take a selfie with the gun and yeah. dominant hand, like she like, said. They came and, and, and then and what then the is. camera in the non-dominant well, hand, and your brain tells your dominant finger to do yeah. what it do. I mean, yeah. it's the natural thing. Yeah. That is the dumb. Thank you. Yeah. First of all, why is it not? 
why is, on save. Why is your eye, why is it? Why is loaded? your eye doing the Forest Whitaker right now? <laughs> because that's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Your eyes doing the force with it. It makes sense. <laughs> her, her eyes doing the force with it right now. What do you mean? <laughs> I, I, I just think it's hey, stupid. Look, man, I'm not sure which force with it can you give it. Is that like is that the fiddler force with it? You mocking me? Is that the fiddler force with it? Or is it like the. Wait, the, wait. wait. Idiot Wicker. Oh gosh, that was so good, <laughs> oh. so good. Uh, yeah, that, and, and she's doing that. it again as she says, "It's so good." Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's cool. Picture of you and a picture of him and put it side by side. Side by side. <laughs> Yo, have y'all ever seen the picture of Forrest Whitaker and Tracy Ellis Ross and right next to each other? <laughs> no, I ain't seen that one. He <laughs> got Forrest Whitaker with the sleepy eye. And Tracy Ellis Ross looking like she hey, will never fall asleep. I love in her. her life. <laughs> you will not talk, talk about Tracy Ellis Ross. She I, is beautiful and funny and I smart. Love I love her. She is one of the most beautiful people I on the love planet. Her. I love her as well, but she got bugged out eyes. You won't yeah. talk about her eyeballs. I love, her. I, 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 I love you, but when we go Man, up there, I'm going to talk about you too. Come on. I just don't want to embarrass you on there. You try to take up with him a little while. I started liking her on Girlfriends. Oh, I never watched Girlfriends. It's my show. I never watched Girlfriends. No, I love Girlfriends. Um, the TV show Girlfriends. Oh, oh Girlfriends yeah. was dope. Yeah. Yeah. That was dope. You know, it was very good acting on yes. that show. Yes. So yes. All the actresses were good actresses. Totally right? not. Now. I wasn't looking at them. Nope. Just the actresses. Yes, actress, just the actresses. 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 Especially oh. Persia White, little yeah. fine little yeah. red self. And it, no, I like the chocolate one. What's the chocolate What's one? Tony Miles. T- oh, yeah. She, she, got, she got the sexy Tony lips. Child. Like, <laughs> Tony Child. Yeah, she got the sexy lips. Miles. Okay, y'all. Oh, sorry. We went left. I'm, I'm not finished with the men yet. We went left. Sorry. So. What's your name again? Big Sis. All right, go ahead. My name is, please take your foot on my, my ass, is. Big Sister. I'm going to untie Thank your shoelace. You. you will not. I will. Now, I want y'all to know that if you are feeling bad about something, feeling sad or whatever the case may be. Um, knowing that you're a man, put your ego in your Levi's and take your ass and see a specialist. It is no big deal in you wanting to get something off your chest or you know, if you're feeling depressed, go in, talk to someone. If, if you want to leave me a message in the inbox, do what you got to do, but don't sit and let it build and build and build and build. Um, go and seek help. Some causes, from what I found out on this um, flyer, um, for men that will lead to depression um, are sorts of injuries or illnesses. Um, injuries, maybe something's wrong, maybe you injured a testicle I don't know I'm just throwing something out there Um, but if you're hurt in some kind of way or if you have some type of illness that you don't want to deal with um, they say it leads to depression so please please. now here are some signs of depression um, for those of us who have men in our lives every day Um, they include sadness grumpiness Mm. Um, we gotta talk to Marcus. Feeling of hopelessness if they're always tired, if you notice a lack in energy, or any little things that they say that may hint to you the thought of suicide. It doesn't matter what they're really feeling, it's what you find that you hear. You may wanna you may wanna help him. Um Anxiety can, can actually be a, a, a symptom of depression. If something gets too bad, y'all know the magic digits, 911. Call for help. Um, so please. And now my next topic, and I put this in, I'm going to jump to this. I'm going to jump ahead in my next topic because I don't want to leave this out because I found this to be very, very interesting. But my next topic that we're going to talk about is the Zika virus. It's summertime, and y'all know the mosquitoes are like crazy. And the one thing that I want to jump to, I'm jumping in the middle, it says on here for men to make sure you use a condom. Now I was like, why? What's that got to do with the Zika virus? Well, it says 
Although the Zika is primarily spread through mosquitoes, it can also be spread by a man to his female or male sex partner during sex. If you've traveled to an area where the Zika virus is widespread, use a condom every single time. I don't care where you're putting your spoon. Put a little rag over that bad boy and just call it safe, okay? Um, if your partner is pregnant, really, I think it should be a no-no at this call at this point because it causes brain damage to your unborn child, and we're going to get into a little bit um, about that. And basically, you should be using one anyway in this day and age. I tell you, with the, the amount of people that cheat on their spouses and the amount of things that flag from one person to the next, you should just be using one anyway. I mean, if you're going to live long enough to help take care of me when I get old, anyhow. So now let's go on to the Zika. Okay, y'all good? All right. So the Zika virus, what the heck is the Zika virus? And we know the Zika virus is an infection or disease, rather, um, that we get from mosquitoes. Now, there is a particular type of mosquito, and it is the Aedes, and that's not 80 apostrophe S. It's A-E-D-E-S, species of mosquitoes. And I know we don't really know the difference in, you know, we don't even know when we get bit, so we can't tell all that. But um, those, are where, those are the mosquitoes that transmit them. Now, they say the Zika virus is not widespread here in the U.S. However, we already know that it is in the U.S. Um, you can protect yourselves from mosquito bites um, by wearing insect repellent and so forth, but we'll get into that. So let's talk about how the Zika virus is spread. Most mosquitoes that carry the Zika virus are aggressive in the daytime. They are daytime biters. Um, so here's a big, a big thing. Even with, um, you know, when you wear ticks and stuff, stay out of the grass. Wear something bright so that if it's on you, you can see it. All right? So wear something bright. Don't wear dark clothing because you're not going to see it. Um, they also, I'm not saying they don't bite at night because they do bite at night, but they are very aggressive during the day. Um, the mosquito becomes infected when it bites a person that may also have the Zika virus. So if you get bit by a mosquito who has the Zika virus, and then a mosquito bites you that does not have the Zika virus, now the mosquito has the Zika virus, and now there are two mosquitoes out spreading the Zika virus. You get what I'm saying? It's like tell two friends and so on and so on. Remember that commercial? So it's like that. So you can spread the Zika virus, which we already found out, um, by having sex. Can you believe it? With somebody with the Zika virus. You are such a clown. Um, for pregnant women, you know, it's a no-no. And it says um, most women who are pregnant during pregnancy or around the time of birth, um, it's, it's, it's not good. Um, you can also contract which they say it's, it, they're still checking into this. They say you may be able to get it through blood transfusions. So I think pretty much though anything in your system, um, if it's in your, it gets, gets in your system, it gets in your blood, you know, you can pass it. So here go some symptoms. Um, it says actually that most people may not even experience some of the symptoms, nine times out of 10, when we get bit by a mosquito, we're like scratching, it itches, or what have you. And that's one thing you need to stop doing anyway. Go out and get some herbs. Go get like some lemon verbena or some lemongrass. You can rub the lemongrass on or um, get some, uh, let's say, coconut oil. Drop some lemon ver verbena in it. Rub it on there. They they hate citrus, hence the very poorly made citronella candles. But anyway. Um, what she said. <laughs> you will have mild symptoms. The symptoms um, can be conjunctivitis, red eye, pink eye, however you want to call it, a fever, joint pain, believe it or not, your knees, your elbows, you know, or a rash. Um, you may want to go and check out the doctor. You may have a fever. 
Um, other symptoms include muscle pain and headache. Uh, symptoms, if, okay, he, here's what I say. This does not say do it, but I say I disagree. If you're somebody you normally have, like me, I suffer from headaches. If you know you've recently been bit by a mosquito and you don't feel good and you got a headache and maybe something hurts, please just go see the doctor anyway. It, it doesn't hurt in being careful. Um, symptoms can last anywhere from several days to a week. And it says normally people don't get sick enough to go to the hospital, but in rare situations, we do die. So it's the rare situations that I'm worried about because it only takes one person to make it rare. So it's the rare situation I'm worried about. So if anything, you know, go. Please check your kids, you know. Put on your insect, your bug repellent, and, and, and all that good stuff. Like I say, you know, make a little lemon verbena, blah, blah, blah. I'll hit up a little recipe for y'all if y'all want to, because I do it every summer. Um, why Zika is risky for some people? Zika infections during pregnancy can cause fetuses to have a birth defect of the brain called, here we go, microcephaly, M-I-C-R-O-C-E-P-H-A-L-Y, microcephaly. Other problems have been detected among fetuses and infants um, affected with Zika, with Zika before birth, such as defects in the eye hearing def deficits, good God, now reading deficits, and impaired <laughs> growth. <laughs> there have also been an increased report of, here we go, Julian Barr, Julian Barr syndrome, an uncommon sickness of the nervous system. And there's a little picture, Marcus, I want you to put this picture up to the camera for those who are looking. Look at that kid. That is a picture of a deformity from the Zika virus. That's not my baby. <laughs> I'd be like, get it out! We get see our out. Gigi, our sister Gigi checking in. What's up, Gigi? What's up, Gigi? Hi, Gigi. Hi, Gigi. How to prevent the Zika virus? There is no vaccine for the Zika virus. So the best way to um, protect yourself is to protect yourself from mosquitoes period. Wear long sleeve shirts and long pants. Stay in places with air conditioning and windows and door screens and keep your, um, keep your to, you know, to keep the mosquitoes outside. Um, take steps to control the mosquitoes. Um, really, y'all can go get um, little candle holders. This is what I did. Don't laugh at me. But I bought the big um, uh, what you call it, citronella candle. I melted it down <laughs> and I added more lemon, more citrus to it, and I have them in smaller candles and I burn them in my house. I don't want, they're down by the floor of my door. I don't want mosquitoes to even want to think about coming into my house. I don't like bugs. Um, make sure, like I said, you wear light colored clothing. Um, you can check out the EPA website on it. Um, if you think you have been bitten by a mosquito, please go to the doctor. If you have been bitten by the mosquito, they will treat you. Make sure you get plenty of rest. You're supposed to drink lots of fluid to prevent dehydration because they say it can dehydrate you. Um, take your uh, prescriptions as prescribed. Do not take aspirin. If you're prescribed anything for the Zika virus, do not take aspirin or any steroidal or non-steroidal or anti-inflammatory drugs whatsoever. Um, so I'm actually going to post right now this little flyer that you can look at. Um, if you're traveling, I'm gonna post one there for you as well on our Facebook fan page. But really, just watch out for the Zika virus Make sure you're careful, protect your kids. I know you wanna go near the water. If you have anything around your house, the water settles, dump the water off. You're gonna see those little mosquito eggs there growing happily ever after. Please, please get rid of it. I don't wanna get bit by a mosquito because you won't clean up your mess. So I'm out. Anyway, um, we're gonna get ready to take a break. And we'll be back and I 
think Mr. 3375 is going to have something from the shin pimple room. What you got, baby? All I need y'all to dust, dust your shoes off. Kick your shoes off for y'all come into my house. Mm. Shin pimple room is next. Shin right. pimple room is next. Facebook Live. We're going to come back with y'all. We're going to shut down and come back. For those folks that are listening to us on TuneIn, those folks that are listening to us on streaming, as well as on Legacy Internet Radio Live, we are coming back. For those folks that are listening to us on YouTube and on iTunes, go to the next listing. Ain't no half step on Marcus J. I got our sister Tony, Mr. 3375, and the co-host, Big Sis, S-Y. Ain't no half stepping with us. Be back in a few.